So right, let's get started here. So it's okay. So I'm giving a function right there. Excuse me. So there's a function given there. So they say, uh, this is trying to battle. Don't forget to subscribe if you're facing me. If you're facing me on my channel. So what, these are very important things, man, before you get started, right? So I can see my razor, man. Come on. I can see my razor. So if somebody give exponential, right? So this is uh, out of X and they got two X. And then so we're going to say, excuse me. So exponential function man how do i know exponential function you know exponential function excuse me how do you know exponential okay do you know exponential if somebody give you a certain number any variable and they have an x or anything so this is exponential how do you know exponential exponential got two components so the first component is power and this is base so that's how you know exponential right so that's how you identify something exponential so let's take a question how we solve it Right, so you know we got a lot of example here. So how do you know something exponential? Like this exponential. Exponential has a combination of two things. We have a base, this is called base, and this is the power. So that's how you know exponential. So this is a function of x, and you have an x here. Look here, function of m, then you have m. You see also? All this is exponential, I mean the whole is exponential. But this exponential, it has a combination of two things. I mean this is a base and this is a power. So I'm saying so this is a base and this is a power. So same here, right? Look. This exponential function, so this is a function, which function? G. So this is the base and this is the power. So the two things, base and the power, the combination of two things, these two components, base and power, they, they, they make exponential. Same here. So this is exponential two. So this is the base and this is the power here. So let's go to the question, right? That's not part of the question. Uh, this erase is not good, man. I apologize, man. I'm going to have to use a cloth. Because every time when I'm trying to raise, he did it up, my, my black, my, my white boss. So I have to use a cloth, man. I apologize, guys. So let's use the clock. The clock's gonna play so well. Okay, so the first question is say, okay, write down the D R means domain of R. Means a function R. Okay, okay, domain of a function R equal to look man, whenever you have exponential, any number that you're gonna plug here is gonna work. So domain of R, any number is gonna work here. Look, if I say three, uh, uh two, excuse me, this is two. Plug any number is gonna work, man. Listen, man. Any number, let's take a positive number, it's gonna work. Put negative number, test, take a calculator and test. Put any number is gonna work. So for that case, domain of function of order are all real number. Any number is gonna work here. So let's go for the second part. So the first one, uh, find the other. So that's a dr equal to real numbers. So we're done with that. So now we go for uh, and solve. This is solve the equation of r of x equal to zero. So r of x equal to zero. R of x equal to zero. So we know R of x. What is R of x? R of x equal to this one. So we're going to take this one and plug it in here. In here, excuse me, in here. So let's, say, let's solve now. So say R of x equal to zero. So R of x equal to zero. But we have R of x. What is the R of x? So 3x plus 1. And I have a minus. I got 2x minus 3 equal to zero. Let's solve now. So I'm going to take to the other side. So I'm going to take this to the other side. So we're going to have a 2 and then have 3x plus 1 equal. Go to the other side, which is going to be 2x minus 3. Because this is, this is negative. So when you go over, it's going to become positive. So we got some few rules, man, in exponential, like exponential rule. If I have an a power, I'm trying to equal to a power or band 2. If these bases are equal, if they're the same, you see a and a, then you say, okay, so for that case now, if the bases are the same, then the powers are going to be the same. So if these bases are the same, so say m equal to w metrona equal to one, two. That's, that's a rule of exponential, right? That's how the rule exponential. So make sure you know them. Okay. In another rule, and now we're going to go to another rule uh, when you see when you get to the question. So that's a rule you have to know for now. A, when the base are the same, means the powers won't be the same. So for that case, look here, man. These bases are the same. Look, this is 2 and this is 2. For that case, now we're going to say, yeah. So 3x plus 1 must be equal to x minus 3. So we're going to say 3x plus 1, excuse me, equal to x minus 3. So letter with a letter, variable, and number with a number. So this x is positive. When it's going to come here, it's going to be negative. So it's going to be 3x minus x equal to negative 3. One, go over. It's going to be minus. So we're going to have 3x minus x is going to be 2x. 2x equal to negative 4. So divide by 2, divide by 2. So we're going to say divide by 2 and then divide by 2. So we're x 
equal to, our x equal to, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So the bottom of x equal to negative 2. Yes, so the bottom of x equal to negative 2. So if you get the bottom of x to negative 2, see, x equal to negative 2. Excuse me. So x equal to negative 2. Uh, I think I made a little mistake here, right? Okay, the mistake that I did, excuse me. I think I copied the question. So say 3x plus 1, x minus 3. x minus 3x plus 1, x minus. I copied the question. Wrong, I apologize. So I'm going to have to redo this question because. All right, guys, so everything is fine and we got that question right. However, right, uh, this is correct. Every solution, I mean, the solution that I did is correct, but, you know, I'm always here for you guys, right? So I realized I made a mistake though how I copied this question here, right? I'll just check the question now. Let's see. All right, so a little mistake that I say identify, right? The question is the solving was right, but this one is not what they asked me according to how the question was, right? The question here was, uh, excuse me, here was 2, but I wrote 3C, 3 by, it's supposed to be 2. So my solving was right. But it's not what it asked me the question because this question, most of the question I solved here, you guys are saying to me. See what I'm saying? And some of them have come up with a uh, with equation by my own, created equation. So that case now, let's solve now how it should be. So I'm saying, so we're going to say, okay. So let's say uh, r of x equal to 0. So we say r of x equal to 0. But we know r of x. What is r of x? r of x is 2, 3x plus 1 minus 2, power to x minus 2. So I'm going to say 2. It's going to be 3x plus 1 minus 2, x minus 2, and this equal to 0. So for that case, look here, man. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take this one here to the right-hand side. So on the left, I'm going to be left with 2, 3x plus 1, and then this is negative. When it go up, it's going to be positive. So it's going to be 2, x minus 2. So when the base are the same, then the power should be the same. So see the base, 2 and 2. So if the base are the same, power has to be the same. So for that case, I'm going to say this is going to be 3x plus 1 equal to x minus 2. This x is going to come to x. So this is 3x minus x, and this is negative 2. This is 1 positive. Go over. It's going to be negative. So negative 1. So 3x minus x to x equal to negative 3. So now we're going to have to divide by negative 2, by 2, 2 throughout. Divide by 2 divided by 2, so this and this concept, so my x equal to negative 3 over 2. So my final value of x, x equal, therefore, x equal to negative 3 over 2. So that's how you solve this question, right? For, excuse me, for r of x equal to 0. So these are the important things. When the base are the same, power have to be the same. But remember, not, we done with the question, right? The question is done. Let me just give some few tips, right? If somebody give you, let me just raise it because the question is done. So I'm going to raise it now show you some few tips quickly. So the question is done. These are very important, man. Guys, look, man, let me show you the, the law of exponential. If somebody give you, for example, let's say this is uh, 3, x minus 1, equal to 27. So now you see, woo, this is exponential, but you yeah, have a number, so we can break this number. So this is going to be x minus 1, and then this 27, I'm going to break the same way. Is base 3, so that's the base going to be the same. So it's going to be 3 Q because 3 times 3 times 3 equals to 27. So it's going to be equal to 27. So it doesn't make any difference. So it's going to be, so you see the base are the same. So I'm going to take the power, must be equal. So x minus 1 equals to 3. Go over. So x equals to 3 plus 1, x equals to 4. So just have to remember when the base are the same, power also has to be the same. This is very important. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Thank you for your time. And you know, if you feel like this video, if you saw this video is very helpful, please don't not forget to leave a comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Let's go to the next question. All right, guys, like I said, man, if you have any question in time, please, man, I need questions, man. You guys don't even ask your questions, man. <laughs> so how do you learn? You got to ask me the questions, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, right? You can, you know, you can follow me also on my, my Twitter page, the same name. I'm trying to work on Academy. On Twitter page, on Insta, on Instagram, and on Facebook, the same name, Toronto Abanto Academy. You can leave the comments, and if you feel like, if you find this video was very helpful, leave a comments down there, like, hey, Toronto Abanto, thanks a lot, man. And if so, that I can keep on, you know, support you for your education journey. If you have equations, post on my Facebook page, post on my Twitter page, like, man, could you please make a video about such and such and such? I'm definitely gonna make a video for you, man. You know. I'm here just because of you guys, man. So, any question, leave the comments 
and don't forget to share, man. So we can keep and support, you know, other people out there. You never know. So that people that can get the easiest, quickest, and you know, optimum solution for their questions. You know what I'm saying? So that they can, you know, get to you know to pass access with a decision. So anytime, leave the comments, guys, man. You know, I get made sometimes. You guys don't have equations. Thanks, man. I love you, man. Much love, man. We can talk about academy. Don't forget to leave a comments, right? Leave a comments. Thank <laughs> you.